How's it going guys, my name is Plixton and today I have this building behind me which is called Solo Tower and I have to get used to these controls now from TU19 which gave us some nice little features um, which I will be using in the future for some of my builds but this is Solo Tower, I think it's pronounced Solo Tower, um, it's based off of the one in New York City and this was built July or August last year so the end of summer 2013 and the reason I always remember that is because I remember watching Breaking Bad whilst doing it I can't remember what episode it was but I'm pretty sure it was one where they were in um, the laundry place but anyway uh, this didn't take too long to build there's a nice little feature and we're right next to the airport here so if there is a bit of a lag spike it's the airport <laughs> I just cover that now and outside we have a small type park feature and this is just so that the workers at lunch can just come and cool down and whatnot. And this area here is really busy um, because all the tunnels for uh, District 1 come up here and these are really old. These are, we're talking, I don't know, as soon as Creative came out probably, these all, all these tunnels were made about then and um, I can't change them <laughs> because if I go deep I hit something if I come up a bit I hit the tower and so these are all permanent features now but I, I like them they add a little bit of a, a type of history type thing so if we just take a quick look into a slow tower we've got a nice lobby design here something simple and uh, I did only thing I did change about this was I added some quartz along this bit here, uh, the little balcony, and made the floors corpse for the lobby and the uh, the bar at the top. Um, but you can see that it is an old building. But we have this stairwell here, and this shows that it was the last building to be made um, on TU11 before TU12. I think it was the last building anyway. So if we just take a quick look outside for a second. This might be, I can't be sure, um, just because there's so many buildings, it might possibly be the last building to be developed on a restricted um, 128 y-axis, but uh, it's kind of a nice lobby, I like it, so I haven't changed it too much, I didn't add the roof feature, or the ceiling features of the courts, which I normally add, but um, I will fly you up to the bar and we're just constantly seeing these little bars that are usually on these buildings now and obviously look, if we just look here there's um, no officers or whatever and like I think I've said this should have been a hotel but we have um, Diamond Hotel oh, we can't see it but it's over there if we were on Xbox One or Playstation we would see it but obviously not here I break in nice easy way and we have a simple bar with some small seating and obviously there's no elevators We've got a nice view of the airport on a 360 view here some trees the airport's huge still working on it it will be done soon we have two more buildings for the main continent of um, district one to do and then there's an island over that way uh, with the Leaden Hall building and a World Trade Center type building on it. Um, but I'm not sure whether to do those buildings before or after we showcase the airport. And the airport will be split up into um, quite a few videos because it's, it's pretty big. There's a lot to see on it. But like I said, there's a, a nice little bar up here, a two floor bar. So um, the, the poorer people <laughs> would probably sit here they just have their scotch just sit and talk to the the barman behind here he's got a, two little ovens and some sink and quite a bit of lag because of just the airport oh this is no computer screens here because the airport's got all of the paintings for district one which is pretty big pain because i really would like to add some paintings and stuff in but here this is um a kind of small cocktail area for if you were up here you'd be the kind of wealthiest 
people that would come up to the top and we'd have like someone standing here and they'd take the jackets or whatnot and they'd pour them cocktails and someone would run down to the bar and grab them a drink but that's just like a, a little pretend thing that we can add in <laughs> but this is um slow tower and i think there is a roof feature if we quickly just take a look yeah there is um we've got this simple design here on the roof again with the type of air cooling station and what used to run at the back of here was a little railway and I'll explain that when we come to the airport itself uh, the airport's got quite a bit of history behind it but um, I might do a tutorial on this I probably will end up doing one because it's a uh, a nice little building to have in your city because of its um, basic design, some light colours, well, tone scheme. It's not black and white on colours, are they? But yeah, this is Slow Tower. Nice and simple building. Uh, nice little feature to have in your city as well. And I'll do a tutorial for you in the future. But I have been Plixen. I need to get used to those controls where it's like down, up. Uh, TU19 changed that. TU19 will actually give us a chance to start building um, toilets uh, which you might see in the airport when I get around to doing them because I might start adding toilets for some of my buildings we haven't done before but uh, I'll end the video so thank you guys very much for watching I have been Plixton, please rate and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!